Thursday and I just got back from my strength training class and I'm just here drinking my little recovery drink. It was such a foggy morning and it was like hard to see you driving over there. So after the workout, one of my friends, she actually gave me this huge bag of candy. It's like taffy, I guess. Um, <laughs> She brought it for me and uh, like some of her other friends, so I'm not a big candy person, but I'm gonna have to try it and, and see how it is. It was a, a sweet surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a pretty busy day. I have quite a few things I need to get done. A few projects for my freelancing job, and then I have my patterns I need to finalize, and then I actually need to go in and adjust my pricing for a few of my products and um, that's because one of my manufacturers has increased the prices on I think three or four I think it's about four of the products that I have in um, some of my wholesale shops so I need to go in and manually update all of those which is going to take forever but it's nothing hard it's just going to be incredibly time consuming and tedious to do so I've been kind of putting it off because I just want like a huge chunk of time to just like get it all done so I don't know if I'll get to that today or if maybe tomorrow I also am meeting up with a friend of mine um, this afternoon we're going to a little taco place so so that'll be fun and yeah just gotta make sure I get everything done before I head out to meet up with her so so yeah just hanging out on the couch. I um, got a lot of uh, freelancing work done this morning and I'm finally done with all of that and I switched to um, starting my bullet journal design for June because um, I need to go ahead and get everything sketched out and I need to start filming and editing everything to launch for next week. So it's getting a little not stressful, but I am like needing to be very efficient with my time. So just started this. I'm doing a little bumblebee and honey theme, which I think is going to look really, really cute once it's all like finished. But I'll just show you a little bit of what it's looking like so far. Um, I'm doing this little honey pot with a little honeycomb, little bee right there. I'm going to have a quote here in the middle and then I have a little bee there. So that's really all I've done so far, but um, I have everything planned out. It's just a matter of like sketching it out right now. So that is what I'm currently working on. Also, I just made some lunch because I'm hungry. I made a little sandwich and this little like chocolate chip cookie. I don't know if you'll see it. Yeah, little chocolate chip cookie peanut butter bar thing. So it's really good. I made that because, or I made it yesterday because I finished my summer collection. So all of the patterns are designed and I made the little treat to celebrate, but I still have a lot more I need to do with like finalizing the patterns and I have to create all of the mock-ups and then I, yeah, there's a lot more involved in that and I'll show you more of that process later once I start on that. I also went to the library yesterday and picked up a few books that I had put on hold and I actually started one of them yesterday just because I am trying to have like a different evening routine where I am not like just watching TV or like working on stuff on my laptop. I kind of want to have like my eyes take a break from like staring at a screen all day. So I thought checking out some physical books might be nice. And so I got this one, The Buddha in the Attic. Um, one of my friends in my um, book club suggested this one. So I got that one and I'm over halfway through it now. Like I literally started it yesterday and I'm like 80 pages in. So probably finish that tonight if I have time. And then I got a couple other books, but one of them is this botanical art book. It's literally, it's like a textbook. Like <laughs> I think it might actually be an art textbook, but anyway, I'm like super excited about it because I want to do more detailed paintings when it comes to painting flowers and just any other like nature or botanical elements. I really want to fine-tune my 
painting. I'm pretty good when it comes to pencil. I'm actually fantastic at that. That is one thing I'm really great at is drawing with either just a plain pencil or a colored pencil, but I want to get better at the painting side of things. So that's why I do most of my art with painting is because I really want to get better at it. And I'm hoping this book will kind of help give me some more inspiration and some more techniques and just more guidance with how to make my paintings a little bit more realistic. And I have one other kind of textbook one like this that I checked out from the library, but it's not ready for me to pick it up yet. So, so yeah, excited about all of these. Yeah, I just hope that I can make time for everything. Okay, so it's been a super productive afternoon and I made a ton of progress on my little bullet journal. Let's see. Yeah, got the quote written in, finished a bunch of the little sketches for it, um, and I am loving how it turns out. I think it's like super fun with the little bees, the honey, the little like honeycomb pattern and everything. So very excited to have made some progress on that. I need to film everything later and um, finish doing the weekly spreads. But I'm actually headed out to meet up with a friend of mine for dinner. We're going to a taco place. So very excited about that. I think I may do some reading when I get home. I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, excited for some dinner because I am very hungry. Hello, so today is Friday, so happy Friday. Um, it's been a pretty relaxing day, nothing too crazy. I kind of took the morning and like really did nothing, nothing productive at all. I just was feeling extremely tired for some reason. I don't know if it was because I woke up really early yesterday. Um, either way, it was just a very, very lazy day, which is, I don't know, I feel kind of guilty about it because I feel like I have so much I need to do, but I also feel like my body just kind of needed to rest and relax. So I do plan to work most of the weekend so I can make up for getting everything done then but i did do some grocery shopping which that feels good i was running out of food and i'm planning on meal prepping on sunday so i think we're all good there um i also spent last night finishing up my book and this one is really good it was sad in a lot of ways like it's a novel but it's based on a lot of true historical events that happened and so it was an interesting read i really enjoyed even just like the way that the author wrote it, it was very eloquent. So this book is about women who were in Japan and moved to the States talking about like their life and transitioning to a different culture where they don't know the language. Like I felt like I could relate to it in, in some ways, not not most of it at all, but in, in some ways. Like I was born in Houston, but I grew up in Bulgaria. And so I understand what it's like to move to a different culture where you don't know the language, you don't know anything about the customs and like how people do the things that they do and like just different like yeah cultural like norms are just very different and so I like can relate to some of that but yeah it was a really good book I think it's gonna be a fun weekend I have uh, plans to go to a little pop-up bar class tomorrow at Holiday Park so I'm probably gonna do that in the morning if the weather is good for it and then my friend is actually having her birthday party tomorrow um, I feel like I've been going to tons of birthday parties recently I don't know so I think it's gonna be a really fun weekend and yeah I'm just looking forward to it <music> It's been a very productive day so far. I got up early and went for a run outside, which was so nice. It was really cool this morning, so there was like a really nice breeze and the sun was just starting to come up, so it was just like a really beautiful and enjoyable run. 
and then I came back, made some breakfast, coffee, showered, all of that fun stuff, and then hopped right into work. So I didn't really have any time to film, but I have been working on my bullet journal spread for June, got all of that filmed and designed, at least for the YouTube video. So I'll show you just a little bit of what it looks like, and then I will put a link for like the full video tutorial, because um, that's probably already, already going to be out, but here's what it's looking like. I don't know if that'll show up. Let's see. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. So very happy with it. I think it's turning out really well. And then also got the weekly spread done too. So yeah, this actually took me quite a few hours to film everything. So yeah. Happy to be done with that. Now I'm gonna jump into some video editing. I have a ton of stuff I need to edit, so that's also gonna take a long time, but that's okay. And then tonight I actually need to meal prep, so I'm gonna make some dinner for the next few days. And yeah, maybe read my book again. Um, I started a new one last night, which was really nice. It's It's been an intriguing story so far, so I'm hoping to get back to reading a little bit more of that tonight. 